Yeah, I want to do something about that question, like how old is the age of the earth? How old is the age of the earth? Hmm. If I were to tell you the age of the earth is timeless or is before time, before time was even able to be reckoned or the reckoning of time. Okay, for example, how do we reckon time? How is time reckoned? Some people would date carbon and they say carbon dating. And they say, well, what happens is we can tell how old something is based on the carbon level because of what goes on, you know, with carbon over time. Right? But how do we rate time? That can be an accurate measure within a specified time range. Even they say carbon dating beyond certain things and sometimes it can be dubious because how much carbon something has can also be produced by means that we might not be aware of because we wasn't there. But the age of the earth, some say billions of years, you know, some say that the earth is like billions of years old, right? Some people might believe that it's 6,000 years old, but one thing I got to tell you, the Bible doesn't say that it's 6,000 people's interpretation or misinterpretation of the Bible say that it's 6,000 because they're going after Usher. Usher is the one. So how old is the planet Earth? Well, what if I told you the Earth is not a planet? A planet is a wandering star. How old is the Earth? You just want to say Earth? I could get with you on that. But the Earth is actually a plane, right? This earthly plane. But how old is the Earth? It's not accurately possible to say. Although the scientists, even in their billions of year speculation, based on various different, you know, tests and research, you know, does point to a time beyond time. Why do I say that? Coming from a biblical perspective and also from a basic science perspective, how do we account time, right? How do we account time on this earthly plane? How is it that time is accounted for? Isn't it by the revolutions, the turning, right? Day and night. We say it's daytime because the sun is out, right? And because the revolution, whether you believe the earth is turning or whether you believe the sun is moving on its earthly plane, it's because of the alternation, right? And the movements of the heavenly bodies, just as it says on the fourth day within the first chapter of the Hebrew Bible and the King James Version, where it says on the fourth day, the sun, the moon and the stars were made visible, not created. It does say made, but made and created is not the same thing. It's a different verb not to go there. But it is the movement of the heavens. It says the sun, the moon and the stars are for times and seasons and days and years. And guess what? This is still the way we account time. That's why when they talk about physics, you know, in physics, anybody into physics, and they say there's this time dilation. You heard about time dilation? Well, of course there will be time dilation if you're moving away from this earthly plane. <laughs> you know why? Because within this earthly plane, the movement of the stars and the sun and the moon is how we account day and night, right? Day and night. Of course, we have digital devices and there were old devices, sand devices and, and, and based on the shadow, you know, you know, these are ways of accounting time, but it still was based on the revolutions and the movements of the heavenly bodies and the sun and the moon and what we call day and night, right? But according to the scripts, right? According to scripts, whether you conceive of it as a flat or round, this is just on a basic principle of the same principle applies. So whether the earth is turning, right? Or whether the earth is a stable plane and it is the heavens turning around this earthly plane is because of that motion. Note this in the Bible, that it was on the proverbial, what was that? Fourth day that the sun, the moon, and the stars become visible. That means that even in a due diligence study of the Bible, right, before the fourth day, time could not be accounted by the movement of the sun, the moon, and the stars because according to the Bible, they wasn't visible or they wasn't there. It depends on your perspective because it says on the fourth day. So that means we have day one, day two, day three, 
We have light. Of course we have light. But we don't have the sun, the moon, and stars. Because that first light, according to the Bible, was not the light of the sun. In fact, it was the light that gives light to the sun. But that's getting theological. Let's just deal with some of the basic. That the fourth day represents the beginning of the ability, right, of counting time as we know time is counted. That's why they say in theoretical physics that nothing moves faster than light. Nothing moves faster than light. And even if you were able to move at the speed of light, that light will always be ahead of you. And then if you move past the earth, right, the earthly plane, at certain distances, there is something called time dilation. It's almost like a loss of time. Why? Because you are outside of what the clock, the heavens, is clocking. So therefore, to ask the question like, well, how old is the state of the earth? Based on a basic reading of Genesis chapter 1, it's not quite possible to say. Right? It's infinitely old. In number of years, there's a point that we can't even determine years based on what the Bible has. That's why I say that the age of the earth right, is beyond time. The true age of the earth, why the true age of the earth is beyond time. It's beyond time as we reckon time today, biblically speaking. Even the scientists kind of know that, although they will say to us, well, it is, I think we saw this somewhere right here. Let's see if we can get this right here, just to share this right here. They say something very interesting. with that screenshot? Oh, the screenshots go in the other suitcase over here. There was that something, billions, five point something, or six point something. Just want to share this. Do we dispute that that's what it is? We don't dispute the possibility that that might be what it is, right? Because we know that we are not able to accurately account. One thing we can definitely say, right? Right here, Earth age. They say 4.543 billion years. What do we think about that? Could be. It could be. Plus or minus about 50 million years. L look what they say. <laughs> Plus or minus about, okay, 50 million. Scientists have scoured the earth searching for the oldest rocks to radiometrically date. Radiometrically date certain particles. But we don't know whether particles more or less got into like carbon because of other geological things that may have happened be a one-off, right? But one thing we know, it's definitely beyond 6,000 years. And the Bible never states that the earth is 6,000 years. But man, you know, religious man try to figure out, he tried to say that the Bible, six days, a day of the Lord is a thousand years. So he just said, okay, a thousand years. But forgetting the counting of time is based on the rotation, right, or the proverbial movement, right, of the sun, the moon, and stars. So if the Bible is stating that it was on the fourth day that these heavenly bodies, sun, moon, and stars became visible or were, quote, made, it doesn't say created, we, we, we gotta we gotta we gotta be on that word right there all right then it could be 4.5 billion years mm, maybe we should really ask the question why does that even matter you see what i'm saying <laughs> do we find ancient people going to those lengths they know that it's millions of years all right talking about millions of years to the very first time when it says in the beginning bereshith Bara Elohim et HaShemayim wa et HaAretz in the beginning, right? In wisdom, in Reishith, Chokma, created He, the powers, the natures, the heavens and the earth. Do we know the sun was there? We do not know if the sun was there. Do we know whether He put on the clock then? Do we even know whether time was even a relative factor in that? See, we're getting a little bit too caught up on questions that are good questions, but are not really significant because somebody else has a question about it, right? Doesn't mean that they have the answer for it. 4.5, okay, let's wait. Maybe the science is going to find, give or take, maybe it was 2.5. How do we know that the 2.5 is incorrect and the 4.5? But 
this is correct that the age of the earth right the age of this earth that some people want to call a planet a wandering star the age of this earth is beyond time in other words the earth and the heavens and the earth were here before the clock began <laughs> go figure 